Hi, uh, my name is Zina Sanbeta, and I um, am from Wheaton, Illinois. Um, one of the texts that my English class chose to read for the part three um, of the Ivy language um, course was Master Harold and the Boys by Athel Fugard. Um, and part three texts focus on context and culture. Um, before our class went into Master Harold and the Boys, we were assigned different context pieces to do some research on. Um, for me, I researched Nelson Mandela, and even though he wasn't explicitly involved in the book, just as a piece of South African history, um, that was a very, very interesting thing for me. And everyone in the class went around and presented, either on the early history of South Africa, the development of apartheid, um, and so forth. Um, and before coming here, I never had really researched, or I had a kind of surface level of understanding of the apartheid, but going into the book before reading it, with the background I got from my classmates' presentation um, and what I found when I was researching really, really um, enrich, enriched the text and it kind of gave me a broader understanding before, um, before delving into it. Um, another thing just in the culture and context portion of the course that I really enjoy is personally um, I'm half Ethiopian, half American and I really um, take a great interest in my Ethiopian culture and really, other than that, other than Ethiopia, I hadn't really had that in-depth of a knowledge about other cultures. So um, through the context piece, I learned a lot about South Africa. Um, but also, as I was reading the book, I, it caused me to kind of go out to the South Africans on our campus and say, hey, like, wow, this was 1994. Like, tell me about what it's like there and like, how is it now and, and different things like that. So that added a totally different dimension as well. Um, but Master Held and the Boys, um, I, I, don't, I haven't read many plays in English, but it was really just a, 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 an experience I really won't forget because it was um, not only just reading a book and analyzing it, but also thinking about like apartheid as a huge, um, just a huge topic and, and how it is so recent in uh, South Africa's history. And also Nelson Mandela and his role in the UWC movement.